On Draw Stuff Real Easy today, I'm going to show you how to draw a Dyson cordless vacuum cleaner. Let's not talk about it. Let's do it. Okay, so I am going to start by drawing the, the main section, the tube. And just to make this a bit easier, I'm going to draw a line right across it. And then like a box and then another box at the end. And we want a little box coming out of there. And we want a little box on the end. And then we want to have it sort of come down a bit. And then a circle. And then round about here, this is the bit at the end, which is on the floor, which sucks everything up. So we want a kind of semicircle and uh, two little quarter circles. And that wants to be at a bit of an angle like that. Now we'll come across to there. We'll do a same quarter circle like that and then another quarter circle and across. So here, it obviously doesn't look like this at all. Um, but what we can do is we can draw an ellipse around that point and an ellipse around that point and a curve at the end. And in fact, this sort of slightly points in a bit. And then we want to have the handle pistol grip kind of thing like that. And then that comes around there and then draw this sort of sausage shape. I'm afraid my next door neighbour is mowing their lawn at the moment, so there's a bit of a noise in the background. Now we need to draw a curve around about there and here we need to, so there'll be an ellipse and then we want something a bit sort of fatter like that going across there and a bit thinner there. And then here we're going to have loops going like that, kind of like a <laughs> petals of a daisy. And they're going to come in at an angle. Now I am going to start round about here. I'm sorry about all that noise in the background if you can hear it. I'm not sure if you can or not. But anyway, this will come here and down, straight across and down. And then we have a little curve there and a little curve there. And then we've got a button that you press there to release the main tube, which is going to go all the way up to there and all the way up to there. And then let's draw this ellipse coming around there. That will come back to about there, like that. And then, <laughs> and then we have this sort of section of the tube inside. And then another one that's just slightly bigger, so that comes around there and into there. And we'll just put lots of little dots in there. And we're going to put a kind of a pattern in there, like that. And then we'll carry on that tube to the back. And we want to draw these kind of daisy pattern like that and then these tubes these are the the suction bits aren't they the these are the the real dyson -y bits and they'll be in there like that there and you're going to see a little bit of that inside there and we might kind of have a kind of a thickness to the transparent glass this now comes back and it's just slightly thinner getting slightly thinner at the back and a curve there. Bring down the pistol grip about there and I'm going to make this just slightly different there. So it's like a sausage and that comes in there. And then we want another bit that comes up like that. Down at this end, we're going to want to have that just slightly wider. I think I've made that a bit short but never mind so let's put that ball kind of bit there and then we're going to want to have the bit to press to release it as well and then we can bring that all the way across there that across there down down round round and across and then we actually want a, a kind of a thickness there as well. So we'll do one and two. That will go along the bottom there. And then just a little 
bit of extra thickness. Now, when you are absolutely sure that the ink is dry, then you can erase those pencil lines and you won't smudge the ink and mess up your drawing. Now, I'm gonna put some shading in here. So these are just the kind of little curves, just tiny little curves. We want some little dots sort of along there and then these are gonna be slightly more, these are more like a curve and there we've got a curve little curves there and little dots in there and we're going to bring a little curve around there and just sort of fill in behind it like that and we're going to want to have a bit of sort of shading in there and we can add shading with these little curves there I think we need a bit of thickness there and curves like that and this is kind of transparent plastic and we want it to look kind of shiny and we might just put some curves across like that and I think we might need to do an extra bit in there as well. This is hidden down here so we can put a bit of shading in there and then all these we can go all the way down the tube with these little curves while my next door neighbour comes past with his motor mower again. <laughs> Here we go. And we just take our time coming down here. And then we're going to want to have some there and some there and then we've got a kind of a thing like that going on. A sort of Dyson always likes to have those kind of ball joints in there. <laughs> and then we can just do these little upwards with little curves and we can put them in there on the ball joint there as well and again upward curves around like this too down here I think we need to have a bit of shade and then that will come down there and there we want a bit of shading going along the front and to the side and like that if you want to if you want to make it look like it's actually on the ground you can put a bit of shadow in there like that and have the sort of floor edge of the floor there and that's the skirting board and there you go how to draw a Dyson cordless vacuum cleaner thanks for watching make sure you are subscribed to draw stuff real easy and keep coming back for lots more drawing videos every week in the meantime, keep drawing, 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 practice, 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 and I'll see you next time. You take care now. Bye-bye.